Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Virginia Tech Show. I'm your host, Kent Reese. On senior night, Virginia Tech crush Rake Force 84 to 46. Like as John Laser said, Virginia Tech just make history against a major team. That's the first win against right and in the ACC in the conference of the ACC. Virginia Tech have a very good performance since in the forty and the first half when they take the lead forty nine to twenty two and in the middle of the first half when they were winning seventy one to the dream later on in eleven minutes in the game. But it's wow, what a performance senior night for our seniors. Tang one Tang all year long was in the BD player all hard on. And our but we have a performance. Check this out. Virginia Tech had Hunter Couture. He had no score, but he had three blocks. But sometimes sometimes when they don't score, you can have a great game by having no score. But man, what a performance for our guys on um, senior night in that Virginia Tech did, did not beat Georgia Tech. It was kind of spent a little bit. Miss COVID, Tyrese Rafford came miss came in the game. But Virginia Tech will get we got the victory anyway. Anyway, I if for our performances guys from the field goal, Virginia Tech was 31 and 55, 30, 53.4% from the field goal, 13 of 24, 54.2% from the three point line, 9.18% from the free front line, 56.3%. Would have been more for the score if he had better three foot lines. But heck, it's, but heck, we can go through our score scores of the game. Justin Mumps, he was three of seven, one of two, was three point three points, five rebounds and nine points. Naheem Anin was four eight four for the field goal, three of six from three point line, five rebounds and five assists and third. Team points. Tyrese Raffer at the comeback the last two games. He was five or seven for the field goal, two or two from the three, six rebounds and fifteen points. And Joe Bamisell was three or seven, one or three points from the three and seven points. David Gasson had eight points. And and Winston Beatty, he would have five assists and five points. And our star player of the game, KV Aluma. He was 9-11 from the field goal, five of five from the three, eight re- rebounds, one assist, 23 points. KV Aluma, as usual, he is all over the place in the game. Is this a precedent to me? The unusual. Then you see five, five, and the three. That's hot. KV Aluma uh, did a very good job for our last home game. It, if we just play a very good game, and like John Laser said, Virginia Tech make history against a major team in school history. But what a performance is. Man, I wish I watched this game, but I listened to it on the radio. Didn't get to recap the last game. I have a family event, but it was all cool. Anyway, Virginia Tech. We'll get to anyway. That's all I got to say on Virginia Tech show. Again, John Laser said Virginia Tech make history on senior night. Our seniors, I reckon, was in the beating in Cone Pistol. Um, kind of job out of the season, but uh, that's his own uh, fault. But anyway. Wilson Beatty has played hard on this Virginia Tech team. He was a leader. He did a good last four, four years. Uh, John Lancer said he could be a doctor. We never know. Ha ha ha. But, you know, Beatty, I'm so I'm proud of him. I'm not being a better scorer, but he can, he's a play hard player. Well, Beatty, we would miss you. Unless he do come back. 
What you guys think? You think once in the beauty will come back? Let me know in the comment section. But anyway, that's all I gotta say. Virginia Tech show. Anyway, the final score of the game again: Virginia Tech eighty-four, Wake Forest forty-six. Virginia Tech will improve for nine four in the ACC, fifteen five overall, and Virginia Tech will play Louisville. I think March first on ESPN two. And then our next game against NC State. But anyway, that's all I say in the Virginia Tech show. Please like this video. If you enjoy it, please leave me a comment. Please click a like. Click, click, click the subscribe button. It will really help me out. And again, let's go Hokies!